I'm pleased to present the, the interim efficacy and toxicity data from our multi-center trial testing the combination of um, the um, oral drugs trivatinib with the immune checkpoint inhibitor nivolumab in um, um, patients who have advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma and have been previously treated with platinum chemotherapy um, but not being treated before with um, immunotherapy. And, and, and the interest in testing this combination of citravatinib with nivolumab stems from the fact that citravatinib is um, a targeted therapy, an oral targeted drug that targets different receptors, including the what we call the TAM family, Tyro3, Axel, and MER-TK, as well as CMET and VEGF, and targeting these receptors can affect the immune microenvironment in tumors. And so there are preclinical data that showed that when we combine citravatinib with immune checkpoint inhibitors like nivolumab, then we can have better efficacy. And indeed, um, both in earlier phase trials, as well as um, another arm of this clinical trial that I'm presenting, we found that even patients who previously had progressed on immune checkpoint therapy, when you add citravatinib to the immune checkpoint therapy with nivolumab, you can restore responses there. The data that I, I'm presenting at this year's ESMO are for the patients that have not been treated before with immune checkpoint therapy. That's the arm I'm presenting now. And um, for these patients, what we wanted to see is whether this combination can produce higher responses than what you would expect from um, each one of these therapies alone. And um, essentially, you know, when, when you are giving um, immunotherapy alone, you would expect responses ranging from somewhere between 18 to 24 percent um, objective response rate, um, progression-free survival that can ra um, range from 1.5, 2.5 months. Um, that's, that's about the range. And so we started treating patients in this multi-center trial with, with this combination. And in this interim analysis, we had 39 patients that um, we could analyze for um, toxicity and 30 patients that were available for clinical activity. And from these 30 patients that we evaluated for clinical activity, 11 had what we call an objective response rate, meaning they had an objective response. Um, and, and their tumor shrunk enough to, to call this an objective response. Um, however, 73% had what we call a clinical benefit, meaning they did not progress. And so their, their cancer stayed at least stable for some time. And this um, led in this um, interim analysis, the data still need to mature, but for now we're seeing a progression-free survival for these patients in the range of four months. And so this is... Um, an interesting finding. This is um, a finding that make, make us optimistic about this regimen. And so this um, therapy um, is being now um, continued to explore in multiple cohorts um, at uh, 26 sites throughout the United States. Toxicity-wise, and with, uh, with regards to what we, what we saw with toxicity, we saw essentially what um, we have seen before with this combination and what we usually see with combinations of oral targeted TKIs with um, immune checkpoint um, therapy. We did not find any concerning new signals um, from, from this cohort. Obviously, you know, I work on, on, on urothelial cancer and bladder cancer, and my, my focus otherwise, major focus is kidney cancer. So those are the two cancers that, um, that I'm, I, 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 I'm most interested in um, for this ESMO meeting. And so with urothelial carcinoma, I would say um, this is presented as a mini oral presentation in the same session, actually, that I'm presenting, you know, Petros Rivas' um, presentation on, on, on the maintenance of Elumab. They just published um, a, a fantastic paper at the um, New England Journal of Medicine that is practice changing. Essentially, 
Um, they used avelumab maintenance, you know, the immune checkpoint therapy, avelumab as some um, sweets maintenance therapy for um, metastatic, locally advanced or metastatic urothelial carcinoma. And they found that adding this sweets maintenance avelumab produces um, a, a very impressive improvement in, uh, in survival for these patients. And so Petros is presenting, you know, subgroup analysis from that as a mini oral presentation, and that's very exciting. I think that trial is certainly practice changing. Um, and from the kidney cancer world, I would say that um, I'm definitely um, um, excited to see the results of the Checkmate Niner data, um, testing the, the efficacy in a phase three um, randomized trial of um, the combination of nivolumab plus cabozantinib. Um, and where I'm very much looking forward to, you know, see the overall survival data, the progression-free survival, and objective responses there. I, I think that this is um, a very interesting and exciting combination.